Hi friends, good morning. I hope that you're ready for our calendar time. I hope that you have had a chance to write down some numbers at home so that you could be my calendar helper from your house. So if you haven't done that yet, get a piece of paper and get some either pencils or crayons or markers, whatever you wanna write with. And so far we've had one, two, three, and four. So please put those numbers on the page. And then as we add numbers, you can add them at home. All right, show me seven fingers. Let's get ready to sing. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is it Sunday? Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? Yes, it is. Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday all day long. Happy Tuesday, friends. I wish you well. I hope that you're doing well at home with your families. And I hope that you are enjoying your little bit of time at home. So let's see how many days we've had in the month of May. May starts with what letter? M, M-A-Y. I like May, it only has three letters in its name. And it would be good if you have written your numbers down to also add the word May to the top of your calendar. Okay, ready? Help me count. One, two, three, four. What comes after four? I have two numbers here and I would like for you to tell me which one is a gonna come next. Which one comes next? After four is five. Is this the five or is this the five? I hope you guessed this one because this is number five. It comes after four. And six is gonna be tomorrow's number. That comes after five. All right, so today is Tuesday, May 6th, 2020. All right, let's look outside and see what our weather is doing. Ooh, it's beautiful out. It is a perfect morning here in Palm Bay. All right, our season is spring. Our weather is sunny and the temperature is warm just like yesterday. All right, yesterday we were talking about some colors and doing a scavenger hunt. So I made some colors for you on this chart. Here's red and green and blue. I have three circles. And then I made three pictures. I made a bean, I made a bottle of glue, and I made a bed. Oops, it's upside down. All right, so today I wanted you guys to help me to line them up next to the color that they rhyme with. So I have three pictures, glue, bed, bean. Each one of these rhymes with one of our colors. Let's say the colors again. We have red, green, and blue. Red, red, red. So we want our word that rhymes with red to also end in ed. Is it glue? Is it bed? Or is it bean? Bed, see how they sound alike? Red, bed. All right, we only have two left. This one is green. So our rhyming word is gonna end in een. We're gonna keep the ending sound the same. So which one sounds like een at the end of the word? Is it glue or bean? That's right, it's bean. Green, bean. See how they sound alike? All right, there's only one left. So it must match, let's check and see. Blue, glue. The ending sound is the same, it's ooh. 
Okay, if it was lean, it would not be the same, but it's blue. So we're gonna put that right next to the color blue. All right, I made a little rhyming word chart for you guys today. And what I'd like you to do at home is think of some words that rhyme. Look for some things at your house that might sound alike. And let me know in the comments below what rhyming words you made today. Thank you. Happy Tuesday. See you tomorrow on Wednesday.